Alright, in this lesson we're going to track the sequence, um, but first we're going to do a lens distortion. Every time, if we, if you have a shot and you shot it with a, a camera and you know it has some lens distortion, and most of the cameras out there has a lens distortion. Um, why do I know this? Because if you see this line, you see that it's not straight. The horizontal line is not straight. So because if we put a line, um, I'm holding Control Shift. It's not straight. It looks straight, but it's not. That's over here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a lens distortion. And this only is in I know this is only in Nuke X, so uh, please start up Nuke X, and uh, we're gonna do an image analysis. So let's analyze the image. It looks like it's a tracking, but it's not tracking. It's just um, gathering all the information from the shot, know where the lines is, and it will correct it the right way. So I'm just gonna cancel this because I already I've already done it. Um, um, back to the lens distortion. Um, Image analysis is, I, I do this because I don't have a grid analysis. A grid anal analysis is just like a checkerboard. Um, looks like this. Um, you just take a shot um, with your uh, your camera and it will look something like, um, like this. I'm just gonna make a weird that's a little bit too much. It will look something like just like this. And if you capture this with your grid analysis, you can just analyze the grid and it knows exactly where the distortion is. And it will undistort it. But as we don't have that now in our shot, we just do an image analysis. But remember, grid analysis is the best way. But I already done this, so let's delete this. And there is another one in here. Um, you can find this in your folder called Lens Distortion. Um, it's in the wrong color space, but I fix it using a color space node and put the sRGB in here. All right, let's start camera tracking. I'm going to load up our camera tracking and. This is a powerful tool. Um, we're mainly going to use Nuke. Uh, we don't want to jump around between um, Bougie or Synthize because um, staying in Nuke is just easier and simpler and efficient. Um, I'm not saying that Bougie or Synthize is bad. It's, those are great applications. But I think for standard stuff like this and shots um, the camera tracker is good enough and you can even track really hard shots alright let's just do a track and see where we're at as you can see right away um, it takes all of the points here nicely in a building over here we got some nice points on the stair stairs um, the only thing I don't see is some tracking points here in the midground, and we do want that because we're gonna put fire and smoke, and the robots are gonna stand over here, so we need a lot of points in here, and we're also going to export out to Maya, so we really need points. Um, we're just gonna um, see and see where we're at with this tracking, and uh, hope the max error is around one. That will be great, and I'm just gonna pause it and be right back. All right, we're back with a shot, and the tracking is almost done. Two seconds left, and we're gonna see where we at. All right, track nicely. Um, we do have to, we do have to take out all of these points in the sky because it doesn't know where this is in space, and because there is no um, Parallax uh, between the, the sky, so 
we are going to key out this the sky and do another strike. But first, let's see where we're at. Uh, if we go to the refine tab and solve the camera, it's gonna be fast. And look at this 0.9. That is awesome. That's really great um, for your first strike, of course. Um, this is really nice. Um, first of all, because we know this is gonna work, we are going to um, first of all we're gonna create a keyer and key out the sky. Uh, look, you key into color space. Uh, all right, let's just do something. Let's just oppose. Yeah, that's great. Can we hide this one? Yeah, this is better. So we're gonna read from this one right now. And let's call this lens corrected 1080. All right, we're gonna create a key um, because the sky is blue. Hmm. There is already a key. Well, I think I already done a key and export it out. So you guys are lucky. You don't have to do a key. But <laughs> if you have to do a key, um, make a keyer. Go to your blue keyer because if you know the sky is blue, um, you can just bring a keyer and just bomb this down. I'm just gonna show you if you guys don't know how to use this and something like this. Um, you can see there's a lot of white dots, that's because it's also blue. You see these dots are the same color as the sky, so what you're gonna do is just simple garbage mat. And we're gonna just do something like this. Um, bring it to the alpha channel, view your alpha channel, push shape to to black, select the key spline, and we just do a simple roto, something like this, and then and then you can just invert your alpha and mask it. But because we already have an alpha channel, which is awesome for you guys, also is we are going to go to your tracking, preview your features. And you can still see your, your uh, features in the sky, we don't want it, so we go to your source alpha. And now they're gone. Um, because I want more points on the ground, we're gonna bump up our number of features to 400. Sounds a lot, but we need it for the fire smoke, um, the robot standing here, um, foreground smoke. Um, uh, on the building we want uh, some destroy some everything we want to damage the building and we're gonna put some mountains in the back and a whole new sky so we really need a good solid track I'm gonna put my detection threshold to um, 0 0.01 and that will detect better so let's track the features again and proceeding, yes, or I'm sure. So it's gonna strike again. Um, the red dots, um, that's nothing, that's just gonna, that's just because it's overriding the old track, so don't worry about that. I'm just gonna pause it and be right back. Alright, we're back, and the track went through. As you can see, we have a lot of trackers, the buildings on the ground. And let's solve the camera. It's gonna take a long time, I think. No, it's fast. And look at this 0.7. That's a great start. And normally this is like really great. We can just create our scene and just go. <laughs> but let's refine it a little bit more. So we're gonna do our refinement in the next lessons. In this lesson, uh, we checked how to um, do a lens correction before we're gonna track. 
um, we use the keyer to um, key out the sky for a better track. Um, we bumped up our uh, tracking, we refined it a little bit, and in the next lesson we're going deeper into the refinement. Alright, um, see you later.